it's my first time in uh, Ahihik and uh, and to this festival. Um, I'm just absolutely thrilled. Time has stopped ever since I got here. I am just floating al along with time. I, I have no idea what day of the week it is, and you know, and I just want to to just take it all in. You know, it's, it's such a treat. It's very rare you get this caliber of musicians getting together. Also because somehow this place is relatively free of professional pressures. You know, people just having fun doing it, you know, whereas in most other settings you, you'll see a certain kind of tension that emerges, you know, in, in the preparation of a new work. You can feel the enthusiasm coming out of the players, you know, how they synergistically bring the music to life. I don't understand music unless I understand the people who play it. Any piece of music that I have to think about, it's not just notes on the paper. It has to be filtered through my memories of people. I can hear it a thousand times on my MIDI uh, library and it's not real until I actually see people interacting with it and it becomes it becomes like almost like a cohesive that creates a certain kind of a kind of a social connection, you know. And that that to me is what what music is. It's setting up a context for people to interact and get closer together, you know. So so where individualities are being lost in a in a in a in a tighter definition, and and that's how I understand music. This is what I find my function to be, you know, in many ways. Uh, so it's kind of devastating, even if I go to a place where, particularly with premieres, when you, you, you begin to learn your own music for the first time in, in these terms, and where you sense that people, they may be making fantastic music, but there's all sorts of tensions among themselves, and you know, and which could be interpersonal, or organizational, of any kind. Um, they can play like angels, it's not music to me. Susan is an incredible player. She just gets into the music, she understands. And it's not just getting into the music, she has technique to burn, so you know, she can actually not only go with her mind there, but with her sound as well. So the piece was, in some ways, was composed by both of us, you know, in, in that sense, you know, because it became this interconnection. That does not mean that there will not be other flute players who will learn this and play it and, and feel like it's not their piece. But the thing is that for me to come to life, it had to come through a person. I don't like to lose myself in the notes. To me, notes mean absolutely nothing outside of the context. I just had to soak this in, see it in its totality and its context, and then whatever comments that will come, it will be coming from the whole and going into the parts, as opposed to just looking at the little dots on paper and just kind of labeling little tiny things and then sorting them in a way that they become a big thing. That's just, that's not the way I think. No matter how precise the notation is, is guesswork. I mean, you know, you're still trying to capture that moment which came and went. I don't even remember it anymore, you know, so you're capturing whatever you can capture, you know. And from that point on, is cre this kind of composite creativity that can take it in other directions than you even intended to. I don't want to come as a composer and say, no, 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 that's not what I was actually thinking, you know. I just want to see, this is a baby, it's been born, you know, you raised it, now, you know, now it's becoming a teenager and you, you know, you're trying to control it and you're going to get in trouble, you know, you just, you just let it go, you know, and see, see what it wants to become.